Welcome to Mathematics with M's, Grade 12, Sequences and Series, Part 1. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. In Grade 10 and 11, you've learned about linear and quadratic number patterns. Linear number patterns have a constant difference between consecutive terms, while quadratic number patterns have a constant second difference. Revision of quadratic number patterns. Now, in grade 11, we dealt with quadratic number patterns having a general term in the form tn equals to an squared plus bn plus c. Now, let's consider the following number pattern. 2, 3, 6, 11. The first question is determine the nth term, that means the general term, and hence the value of the 42nd term. And B, determine which term will be equal to 1091. So the first step is to write down the, the sequence 2, 3, 6, 11, and then, and we also call it A plus B plus C. Then the first difference, which we call 3a plus b, comes from 3 minus 2, which is 1, 6 minus 3, which is 3, 11 minus 6, which is 5. So please take note that you must subtract the, it is the next term minus the previous and not the other way around. So that is the first difference, and we call it 3a plus b. And then the second difference, which we call 2a, is 3 minus 1, which is 2, 5 minus 3, which is 2. So the second difference should be constant. So you start off by writing 2a equals to 2, that is the first value of the, of the second difference, and therefore a equals to 1. Then you go to the first difference title 3a plus b equals to that first 1 there, as you can see. Substitute a with the 1 and you get b equals to negative 2. Then you go up to a plus b plus c, which is equal to that first 2. And of course, you got already got the value of a, you have the value of b, substitute, and you get your c, which is 3. So there you are. So the nth term is therefore n squared, because it's 1 n squared, minus 2n plus 3. And to find the 42nd term, you just substitute 42 into the equation, and you get a value of 1,683. The B question, if the nth term is 1,091, let it be equals to the formula, Bring it to the left-hand side. You can either factorize or you can use a quadratic formula. Then n is 34 or n is minus 32. Now remember, what does n represent? n represents the position of the term. So it can therefore not be something negative, but positive. So therefore, we need to eliminate the negative 32 and accept the positive 34 is an answer. So therefore, the 34th term will be equal to 1091. I would like you to have a look at the uh, exercise. Please work through them using your knowledge of quadratic patterns and make sure that you can do all of them. Right? You must also consider the following pattern that emerges when you add a term of a linear pattern. Also look at that example and try and see whether you can do it. Then I've decided to give you the solutions to the exercise. So please do yourself a favor, work through the exercises and make sure that you get the same answers as given on this page. Good luck. Right, I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, quadratic patterns is grade 11 work, but it will be examined in grade 12. So don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. This is Ahmed Suleiman from Mathematics with M's.